Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be exploring the new Morphe X Saweetie Collection. This is brand new for Morphe and it's a collaboration with an artist named Saweetie. To be honest, I didn't know who she was before I saw this collection. <laughs> I've since looked her up and I, I like her music, but honestly, like the aesthetic of the collection is what really drew me in. So the main event, of course, is going to be this big, beautiful 24A Artist Pass palette. Ooh, gorgeous. But there's also some brushes, some lip gloss, a nice little setting spray that's all part of this collection. I got all of it. And I even got an extra palette to do a giveaway with. Woo woo! Yes, ma'am. If you're new here, my name's Haley. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoy fun and informative makeup videos, I would so appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you go. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes a bonus video here and there. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, hey, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're back. This is gonna be a fun video. I have absolutely nothing to do today. I did all of this just so that I could sit at home and hang out with my pets. And obviously, as you can see, we're just on a very casual, chill, glittery vibe today. I put on some really fun, sparkly nails that are way too long. But you know, with just like COVID-19 and everything, I was like, I need to have a little bit of fun. I need to do some color. I need some glitter. So that was kind of just what happened today. I was like, quarantine, but make it glitter. So anyways, let's just get on with this eyeshadow look, shall we? I'm literally opening the box just now. So fun, we got a little fanny pack. This is so cute. I saw Cole's World and Manny MUA's videos on this. And some others, and I feel like everybody was like poo-pooing on the brushes. They were just like talking about how they're cheap. I'm like, I like Morphe brushes, so I mean, how bad can they be? And they're really cute. They're like orange and purple, and I guess this is like a highlighter brush. This is, yeah, not the best, not the most amazing brush ever, but these look okay. Oh, yes, okay, I got the, um, the Continuous Setting Mist. It's supposed to be like peach or something. I kinda wanna smell it, here it is. See, I love the packaging in this collection. It's so cute. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, I like that. Ooh, nice, icy lips. Okay, I'm gonna pull out this middle one and then these other two I'm gonna put in the giveaway. This is Money Mommy. Doesn't really have a smell. It's pretty. You can like feel the little glitter particles in it though. So I guess you can also serve as like a <laughs> lip exfoliator. It's not too bad though. I like it. Now finally. Ta -da! Thumbnail. Oh no, I don't have my makeup on yet. So not a thumbnail moment, but. Whoop, they got it nice and wrapped up in here for you. So nice. Oh my goodness. I'll let y'all have the first look. Oh. Whoa. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I love it. Such a nifty palette because so if you take out this part of it, that's like a really nice kind of like neutral moment with some cool tones and some warm tones and then you got your big highlighter pans and then boom down at the bottom it's like party time <laughs> so first i want to check out this spotlight stealer that's the one that has like actual little stars in it oh this is messy it's definitely like a pressed glitter moment so it doesn't really swatch okay it's a little it's tricky it's it's tricky but cute this would like if you were really going to like a music festival that would be so fun to use this highlight this is gonna be one of those days where i just have glitter all over my 
entire life for the whole day. <laughs> oh, and that's also a pressed glitter. Oh my God. There's just so much glitter in this palette. It's interesting because it's like a very usable palette, especially since they give you so many like neutrals up top. But like this whole row is pressed glitters. This is a pressed glitter. This, this is a pressed glitter. Oh, this is not a pressed glitter. I'm just kidding. Ooh. No, never mind. Oh my goodness. Sorry, it kind of like in the pan, this one, it kind of looks like a pressed glitter, but it's not a pressed glitter. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna go in with this fluffy blending brush here. Hmm, what do I want to do? I'm going into Stage Persona. That's this light purple down here in the top corner. And we're just gonna get her going in the crease. See where this look takes us. Yeah, I don't like this brush. <laughs> it's just not as like nice as some of my other fluffy blending brushes that I have from Morphe. I mean, it's not bad. Not my favorite brush, but it's, it's you know, it's, 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 it's fine. Okay. I'm feeling a little brave almost today. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. <laughs> this palette's kind of hard. It's big. I'm gonna go into this pink shade here. Wish me luck. What am I doing? I have no idea. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the darker purple shade, Major Inspo. Kind of interesting, it's not quite like what I expected this color to look like. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into Ride or Sky, this kind of like royal bright blue thing. This could be a major mistake. Let's find out together. <laughs> this blue shade is Tricky. It's not blending out as nicely as I would like it to. No, this blue is just not operating how I want it to. All right, I'm gonna cut the crease now. Concealer, where are you at, girl? I'm gonna go into this, what's it called? Secret Set, the big purple shimmery pan. are with a full-on like rainbow eye kind of moment you can see that like the blue shadow just really did not blend the way I really wanted it to it just is giving me a little bit of patchy vibes so any who's it Okay, so it's likely that I'm gonna edit a lot of this out, but I just want y'all to know, I'm looking at the timestamp right now. It took me an hour and eight minutes to do this look, okay? It just took a lot of building and blending. Like, these are not the easiest pigments to work with in the world, but I think it looks kind of cute. So let's hope that the rest of my makeup and some liner and some lashes can help pull this together. 
I feel a little bit like a clown right now, like a patchy clown. All right, well, I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup and then we'll see if this look will come together or not. All right, I'm back and pretty much the rest of my makeup is on. I just thought that I would dip back into Miss 24A Artist Pass palette for highlighter. I'm gonna go into Private Oasis right here. Oh my goodness, whoa. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, what in the what? Whoa, that's cool. Y'all, I need to put this palette down. Someone come take this away from me. What is that? What is happening to me today? What am I doing? Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I put some little, <laughs> I put some stars on my, on my eyelid. I'm living. This is crazy. I was not expecting it to be so fabulous. And on the eighth day, the Lord said, let there be glitter. And Eve was shook. Finally, I'm going to use this little continuous setting mist peachy one. Ooh, that's exceptional. And there she is in her t-shirt ready to sit at home for the rest of the day. So there it is the final look. The brushes okay I gotta I gotta say they were kind of cheap. Yeah not the best eyeshadow brushes from Morphe. If you like the aesthetic of these brushes because I mean they're so pretty I gotta say. And then the little fanny pack that it came in is so cute. I love this little continuous setting spray. Um, first of all, packaging, A+, plus, so cute. I love the Sweet Peach. Lip gloss is really, really nice. I actually really like it. I'm gonna give these other two away along with my other palette. But I definitely like this. It's really nice, very shiny, glittery, very on brand for this whole <laughs> collection, right? The star. Do you see this? It's like in my eyelash. Do you see it? Okay, so then Miss 24A Artist Pass palette. It's a lot of fun. If you want a fun palette to have some fun with, it's a fun one. It took me a long time to do it though, and I mean it just is inherently like you know, I went I went ahead and did a rainbow eye, so yeah, it took me some time. <laughs> The shadows, especially the blue, doesn't blend as great as I would like it to. The purple was a little tricky too, but I mean, I was able to make it work and it looks pretty cute, I think. So it's a fun palette. Like if you're looking for a versatile palette, that's a nice little like neutral palette. And then you have some fun stuff happening. Probably too many pressed glitters in this palette. Just a, just a few too many pressed glitters, but like, oh my gosh, I'm loving the aesthetic of it. It's a nice big palette. It feels really nice. It has a mirror. It has, you know, it's a, it's a good one. I'm definitely gonna be reaching for it again, if not just for, I just keep opening and closing it. <laughs> if not just for this middle row, because these highlighters are unreal. I'm obsessed. And I'm excited that I get to give one away. So I'll leave some info on how to enter the giveaway down in the description. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll come back and watch another video with me again very soon. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.